Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to be narrowing the front of the frame. All right, so I got it all set up on the frame table here. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make this bend just a little bit bigger so that I should only have to move it a little bit so that by the time it gets to the front, it moves a lot more. Um, so this cross member is in the way. I really don't like this center cross member. It's too heavy and it's not that strong actually. So I'm just gonna cut that whole thing out and I'll replace that eventually. I'm gonna leave the back end intact though because that'll give me a little bit more strength right now um, to make sure that the back part doesn't move. But this front, these front arms have to come out so that I can actually move the frame up here. And then I'll shorten this front cross member, weld it back in, and we should be good to go.
right, so I got everything um, assembled now. And you can see that the front of the frame there um, is much narrower than it was before by about four inches, actually. Um, and that really makes the front of the car, gives it that narrower look that I, that I was looking for, um, that I think is characteristic of lots of these old, old speedsters. Um, and it was a lot of work, especially aligning it. Um, that, that always takes forever, and it's, it's just a hassle. But I got it all together, and I'm very happy with how this, this turned out. So the next thing, obviously, is to make an aluminum body for this. That will be the project for the summer. Um, but unfortunately, spring break is over now, so it'll probably be a while for another video. But I'll be back, so I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.